Hi. In this problem, we are going to look at a combinatorics question from the International Maths Olympiad 1989. The question says that let n and k be positive integers and let s be a set of n points in the plane. Excuse me. Um, let s be a set of n points in the plane such that no three points of s are collinear. And also for any point p of s, there are at least k points of s equidistant from p. We have to show that k is less than half plus root 2n, right? So let's think about the question a little bit. They are asking us, they are asking us to say uh, some condition on k and n here, where s is a set of points in the plane, no three points of s are collinear. So basically, they are randomly distributed points where none, no three are on a straight line, right? And for any point, for any point P of S, there are at least K points. So basically, there could be more than K points of S, which are equidistant from P. If you think about the second condition here, that means any point P of S can be the center of a circle, right? Because these points, K points of S, which are equidistant from P, they will basically lie on a circle with center at P, right? So the question is guiding us towards a circle interpretation where every point of the set S can act like a center of a circle and some K points of that same set will lie on the circumference of the circle, right? Okay, so let's try and analyze this. So in order to think about this, we'll first define something called an edge. What is an edge? An edge is a line segment, line segment, that connects two points, any two points in S, right? That connects any two points in S, right? So basically you have any two points, you connect them, that is a line segment that we'll call an edge, right? Now, in this situation, there are N points in the plane. So let's count the number of edges, number of edges in the plane Let's call that number as L, right? And what is that number? So obviously, since an edge is constructed by joining any two points in S, how many points are there in S? There are N points in S. So what we can say is L should be equal to N C2, right? Out of N, we can choose two and it will make an edge, right? So the number of edges will be L is equal to N choose two, right? Now what we will do, is we'll try to estimate the number of edges in the plane in a slightly different way, right? We already have one way to find L. We will estimate the number of edges in the plane in a slightly different way, right? So here we will take advantage of the circle interpretation that was mentioned in point two of the problem, right? We know that every point on in the set S can act like a center of a circle and there will be K points of S, which will be lying on that circle, right? So how many circles are possible? Basically, let's think about that, right? So I will just do it on the next screen. So basically I'm saying there is a point here. We know that this point P, right? This point P can act as the center of a circle, then there are at least K of these points which are on the circumference. So this can be like A1, A2, A3, and so on till AK at least, right? So there are AK points on the circle with center at P. And there are obviously many such circles, right? This is a new point of the set, this is Q, right? There are some points on the circumference of this circle, right? So now what we can say here is we have drawn a circle with center here and it has at least K points of S. So due to these K points, A1 to AK, A1, A2 till AK, how many edges can be made from these points? How many edges can be made? Basically, it's like selecting the number of chords possible, right? So we can make many edges here, right? So we'll say KC2 edges at least, right? There will be KC2 edges 
if there are k points on the circumference, if there are more than k, then the number of edges will be more than kc2, right? If there was k plus one point, you would have said k plus one c2. So we can say that the number of edges is at least greater than or equal to kc2. And these are the edges lying on this circle with center at p, right? But how many such circles are possible? How many circles are possible? The question has said that for every point P of S, there is a circle and at least K points lie on the circle, right? So basically that means how many points are there in the set S? There are N points in the set, right? N points in the set and each circle has K, C2 at least edges. So the no total number of edges, total number of edges should be greater than or equal to N times K, C2, right? The total number of edges should be greater than or equal to n times kc2 because there are n circles and each circle has these many edges, right? Obviously, here we have not counted the fact that sometimes the circles could be intersecting, right? The circles could be intersecting and the same point could lie on two different circles, right? If that is the case, then what we have done here is an overcounting, right? Why is it an overcounting? Because we have counted this edge as part of this circle and it also is counted as part of this circle. So we are double counting this edge, right? So what, what we want to do is handle that double counting. So we want to subtract all the cases where the edges have been counted more than once, right? And obviously the edges will be counted more than once only if it is a common chord, right? If two circles are intersecting, and this chord is a common chord for these two circles, then only, then and only then will this edge be counted two times, right? So what we will say is the number of such common chords, how many common chords are possible with n circles? With n circles, how many common chords are possible? So obviously a common chord is formed only when two circles intersect. So the number of common chords will be n c2, right? If you take any number of circles, you will take two of them at a time. It is possible that the two of them might intersect. So n choose two will be the total number of common chords possible. Obviously that is an overestimate. It may be that some circles don't intersect. So the number of common chords is less than or equal to nc2, right? Less than or equal to, but it cannot be more than nc2, right? So the total number of edges by our calculation is not n times kc2, it should be less than that we have to subtract this right so the total number of edges by this different calculation should be greater than or equal to n times kc2 minus nc2 right i hope everybody is understanding this solution this is the count of how many edges are possible per circle and multiply it by the number of circles but this does an over counting so we are subtracting all the common chords which come in two different circles, right? So this should be L should be greater than or equal to this KC2 minus NC2. And now we had already found L from a different method earlier. And we had said L was equal to NC2. So NC2 should be greater than N times KC2 minus NC2. And therefore we get twice of NC2 is greater than or equal to N times KC2. And this can be now simplified. It will become n into n minus 1 is equal to n into k into k minus 1 by 2, right? Right. Now we simplify this a little bit and we will get a quadratic in k, right? This can be simplified as a quadratic in k. I will leave the steps to you, but I will just write the quadratic here, right? So the quadratic that comes out here is a square minus k minus 2 times n minus 1 less than or equal to 0. This is the condition that I am getting after simplifying the previous screen equation, right? So this is a quadratic which is an upward facing parabola because the first coefficient here is 1. So it's an upward facing parabola. So obviously the parabola will be below the x-axis only if k lies between the two roots, right? k should lie between the two roots alpha and beta. So we can impose a condition on this and say that k should be between 1 minus 8 root over 1 plus 8 n minus 1 by 2 
less than equal to k less than equal to 1 plus root over 1 plus 8 n minus 1 by 2, right? Obviously, this quantity is a negative quantity and k is a positive number, so we don't worry about that. But we have the inequality like this, k is less than half plus half root over 8n minus 7, right? And this is less than half plus half root over 8n. So we can just say this is a strict inequality because now it was equal to this. It could possibly be equal to this, but it can never be equal to this. So therefore, we get k is less than half plus this becomes 2 root 2, 2 gets cancelled and you get half plus root 2 n. Right? This is what we wanted to show. This was the problem. And we have basically been able to prove this inequality. And please keep in mind the technique by which we have proved the inequality. This is a very common technique in combinatorics problems where you have to count something. You count it in one way where we first counted the number of possible edges by just saying it will be nc2, right? Because there are n points and you can select them in two ways. Two points will be selected to form an edge. And then we did the same thing. We said that the same edges can also be counted by thinking of the circles that they are part of, right? So we counted all the circles, there are n circles, and each circle has at least k points. So kc2 chords on those circles. So n times kc2 minus the common chords, which were nc2, that should be equal to the original count of L, which was nc2. So basically, you're counting the same thing in two different ways, and that gives you a nice condition. And that is what is expected in this problem. Right? It was not a very difficult question, but a nice problem illustrating this problem solving strategy. So hopefully you have learned something from this video. Uh, stay tuned for more content. If you like the content on the channel, please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends. Maybe somebody else will also find it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.